Hi, my name is Olga, and today I'm going to show you how to set up your POP3 IMAP for an exchange account on your desktop uh, Microsoft Outlook. Hi there, so right now what we're going to show you how to do is how to set up a POP3 or IMAP for uh, email account that is uh, included with uh, a basic email mailbox uh, with the, each of your hosting plans. So first we're going to browse uh, in an internet browser to manage.myhosting.com to your My Hosting Control panel. We're going to fill in your username and your password. And then we're going to hit login. Uh, then you will see a list of your subscriptions uh, on uh, the page that you log in. Uh, we are going to select the premium hosting plan um, that has exchange capability. We're going to hit select. What we are looking for is the exchange email option, the mailboxes option, and uh, now what we're going to set up again as I mentioned is a POP3 or IMAP4 email account. POP3 and IMAP4 email access are available with all basic email mailboxes. So you can just select the name of your mailbox and just scroll down to mailbox access and you will see um, under POP3 and IMAP4 uh, headings, you will see uh, two links that will allow you to see step-by-step -step instructions on how to set up this email account as a POP3 or an IMAP4 uh, email account in a desktop email client such as Microsoft Outlook. So right now we're going to use Microsoft Outlook as an example to set up a very basic POP3 email account. When you hit View Setup Info, you will get a little pop-up. Um, you can then click on Outlook and you will get 13 steps as well as settings within those steps to set up that POP3 email account. Uh, so all you need to do is open up Microsoft Outlook from your desktop. You will go into Tools, you will go into Account Settings and um, we already set up this test account so we're actually going to just remove it and set it up one more time. So we're going to hit New. We're going to hit Microsoft Exchange, POP3 or IMAP or HTTP. That's the option that we want. We're going to fill in your name. We're going to fill in your full email address with us and your password with us for which we're just going to go back to our control panel here you can choose to display your password, copy it, and paste it. You will then want to click on manually configure server settings or additional server types and hit next. You will want to click on internet email because we are setting up a POP3 or IMAP for a um, very basic uh, type of email. Hit next. Um, you will have your name already uh, pre-populated, your email address pre-populated as well. You will choose the um, account type that you want to configure, uh, so either POP3 or IMAP4. Um, then you will uh, input uh, your incoming mail server and your outgoing mail server, which is important to get correct as um, these are the servers that are used to send and receive your email respectively. So to get those, uh, if you just uh, quickly flip back uh, to your control uh, panel in that little pop-up, um, you will see the incoming mail server as ex.myhosting.com and outgoing mail server as auth.myhosting.com, which you want to fill in right here. You will then want to fill in your full email address as the username as well as the password just one more time. You will want to check remember password. Uh, this option right here can be left blank. You will then hit the more settings uh, button. Uh, you will go to the outgoing server tab and check my outgoing server requires authentication and make sure that they use the same settings as my incoming mail server is checked. The other thing that we do recommend for a POP3 email account is to go to the advanced tab and under delivery check leave a copy of messages on the server or uh, you can uh, tweak these options uh, below here depending 
on uh, how long you'd like uh, your messages to be left uh, on the email server. Then hit OK and hit Next and you are finished setting up your POP3 or IMAP4 email account. For an IMAP4 email account, uh, you will obviously follow uh, this set of instructions, um, which will uh, have uh, the same incoming and outgoing mail server, except that the account type you will select will be IMAP. So hopefully you should have uh, your POP3 uh, SMTP um, account all set up and you can hit close. Uh, if it's the only email account that you have set up, it will appear uh, in this left hand side menu. Um, if it is, uh, you know, a secondary uh, email account uh, that you're adding, for example, you already have an exchange account configured on Microsoft Outlook, it will feed into the inbox all the emails that are coming to that particular POP3 account. I hope that helps you set up your POP3, IMAP4, or Exchange account on your desktop Outlook. Feel free to give us a call if you have questions.